So I want to give you an overview of how you set up RStudio to use Git so that you can do your commits and your pushes directly from within RStudio. Uh, on the web uh, site, I have a link to the uh, setup instructions, which is a summary. And what I'm going to do now is just give you an overview of these. Um, before I get started, um, I want to point you to this great uh, resource, which is Happy Git with R. And that has a whole section about how to connect RStudio with um, Git and GitHub. So you should read that first before you tackle this. Um, and hopefully, in seeing all these steps here, you can kind of see why I don't do this in a teaching setting. Um, because if I just have you use GitHub Desktop, all you do is download that and log into GitHub and you're ready to go. Okay, so steps. So first off, um, if you're going to use it within RStudio, you'll need to download a Git client uh, for your operating system. So um, here it is. Um, just Google uh, where you're going to uh, download that for whatever system you're on. Okay, so you've got that downloaded. Now you're ready to get going. So first up, you need to set up RStudio to tell it you want to use Git and how to um, it should find Git. So go to RStudio, go into Tools, go into Global Options, and then scroll down and get this Git SVN. Click that. You want to make sure you check that box right there. Okay, so that enables um, using version control. Git is a type of version control. And then right here, you want to add the location of your Git executable. So where's the location of your Git executable? Well, it just really depends on your operating system. Uh, and give you some ideas of what it might be is typically, so on Macs, it's often here. I'm, I'm on a Mac at the moment, so that's where it is. On my PC, um, it is here, but um, it kind of uh, depends how you've installed uh, Git for Windows. Um, a lot of times it will be um, here, so it's a completely different place, and it can be hard to find that. Um, so you, you need to find out where that is. Okay, so that's the next, that's the first step, telling our studio about Git and where to find it. Next, you need to tell Git how to get your username and password. So um, you, uh, to do this, you're going to open up a terminal window in your, um, in your operating system. So like, you know, here, you know, I'm on a Mac, so I can just do terminal. So click that. So I get my terminal window going, and then... Um, from my terminal window, I'm going to type this. And then what happens next depends on your operating system. And so since that is really um, operating system dependent, what I would say is go on to the happy git with uh, R and read up on how to set your credentials. You can also uh, Google, but I think they on, the, on here they've got most of the info that you will need to get that set up. Okay. And, I mean, you can try my commands right here just in a Mac, just type that, and then on your PC, um, uh, I think just type, uh, uh, git config global credential helper manager that sh should work. So here, here, this should be the command on the Mac right there. And on Windows, it should be uh, that command right there. Okay, next step is um, during your first per, uh, push from our studio. So this is not for the first time for a repository, but the very first time that you push within our studio, you need to do it within the shell and not within the graphical user interface. So what does that mean? Okay, so um, 
when you're in a repository in uh, our studio, you're going to see this tab right here. And normally what you're going to do is you would you know, do your commits here and then you just push using this green arrow. But the very first time within our studio, you need to do it using the shell. So you click this cog, click shell like that, and this is going to show up, and then you use git push. So these are the, the commands right here, git space push. That's it. That's all you have to do. And then it's going to ask for your username, password, enter that, and you'll never have to do it again. Um, right now, within uh, with our hub, uh, GitHub, you don't have to use SSH keys. Uh, apparently, they're going to start requiring that uh, sometime in August. And at that point, you'll need to uh, follow these instructions and set up your SSH key. All right. So that's it. If you need help, I. These are some common things that I've run into uh, when I've helped people set this up. So you can just look on my website. Uh, and then obviously you can go with the happy get with R and look at that. Um, R, or of course, avoid all this uh, and just use GitHub Desktop.